Well, good evening, everybody. It's a great pleasure to welcome you here to Gresham College, especially those of you who are visiting for the first time. Uh, I'm giving a series of lectures on mathematical problems of various kinds. It's called We All Have Our Problems. And last time, I concentrated just on three specific mathematical problems, uh, doubling the cube, trisecting the angle, and squaring the circles. These are problems from ancient Greece, uh, very difficult to solve. In fact, it took more than two years, uh, 2,000 years, uh, before they actually proved that they're actually unsolvable. And that's what I talked about last time. Today, by way of contrast, I'm going to introduce lots and lots of mathematical problems, most of them fairly simple to solve. So my emphasis today is on puzzles, uh, because puzzles uh, form the basis for much of the mathemat mathematics that we study today. It's certainly true, of course, that a lot of mathematics originally arose from practical applications, but it's amazing quite how much seems to have had its origins in the recreational aspects of the subject. But before I show you any specific uh, puzzles, uh, I've got a few observations that uh, occurred to me uh, while I was preparing this lecture, and you'll see examples of all of these things later on. So you might like to have these at the back of your mind uh, while you list, watch, the, watch the puzzles. First thing is that many mathematical puzzles recur throughout history, often in various different forms. Um, and we'll see some examples of that, uh, some problems uh, are very popular, and then they die out, and then they sort of come in again many centuries later, and so on. Secondly, it's true that one person's recreational puzzle is another serious mathematics, and vice versa. Uh, for example, if you travel on the tube, you see lots of people doing Sudoku puzzles um, you know, for fun. Um, and yet, I've been to conferences where they have very serious, where combinatorial mathematicians have very serious um, sessions on the mathematics underlying uh, Sudoku puzzles. Uh, and it, it works the other way around. I shall show you some tilings. Obviously, tilings is a practical, uh, uh, a practical topic for someone wanting to lay pavements or bathroom floors and everything. But it also has its recreational aspects as well. And one can just explore tilings, uh, which we'll, what we'll be doing later on. Recreational mathematics, in fact, is also very good as a teaching tool. Uh, it's a good ve vehicle for teaching serious mathematical ideas. Uh, one person that did this was Lewis Carroll. Uh, he had to teach a whole uh, class of, of young girls um, in Oxford, and he used recreational puzzles as a way of getting them interested and, and excited about mathematics, and then as a vehicle to teach more serious ideas. And in fact, I shall be teaching a course uh, in Canada over Easter, uh, and um, it's actually, a, a, it's, it's actually a, a course for uh, people who have to fulfill a mathematics requirement. So I don't think a lot of them are looking forward to it. So my object is, is both to make it fun, but also to try and teach them some serious mathematics. And in fact, if I can advertise a book, not one of my own, um, I, I would strongly recommend, if you're interested in this sort of thing, it's a book called Problem Solving Through Recreational Mathematics. It's by Ava Bark and Chai, and it's been out since 1960. Uh, but just a few years ago, it came out as a Dover paperback. And it's, it's full of lots of interesting puzzles, some of which you'll see today. And finally, as you'll see, uh, some of the problems that we'll be looking at uh, are quite difficult to, to solve unless you get a really good choice of notation. The, the choice of notation, whether solving a serious mathematics problem or recreational mathematics, it can be absolutely crucial to your success in, 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 in solving it. And also, so in many cases, uh, the use of a good diagram. And you'll see examples of these uh, as we proceed. <coughs> 